They arrived in vans. They arrived in SUVs. Hi, guys. Most of them co-workers. Some of them friends. <laughs> there were 19 of them, each with a story to tell. They all took the elevator to our studio. Three elevators, in fact. What were all these people doing here? All of them wanted to talk about their years of working for Donald Trump's golf clubs. They also all have another thing in common. Raise your hand, how many of you are undocumented workers? And how many of you worked for the Trump Organization? Raise your hand. All of you. All of them say they worked for Mr. Trump at his various golf courses in New York and New Jersey, some for more than a decade, despite being in the United States illegally from countries including Mexico and Guatemala. They brought with them their work uniforms and stacks of pay stubs from their former employer. Jose Juarez worked as a waiter at Trump's Westchester Golf Club for 10 years and often served Donald Trump. He used to come and we serve him a Diet Coke out of the glass bottle into a plastic cup with ice. Do you think he knew where you were from? Uh, yes, he, he knew I was from Mexico. You told him? Yes. Do you think the president knew that you were undocumented? I think so. This was an open secret. Lawyer Anibal Romero represents 38 undocumented workers, including this group, all of whom worked at Trump properties. He says 11 of them were quietly fired in January from Trump's Westchester Club after the club did an audit in the midst of the government shutdown and the fight over the border wall. The rest of these workers quit given the toxic environment. Some of these employees uh, were the most trusted employees of the Trump family. Uh, they've been working there for 10, 15 years. Uh, some of my clients had you know, the keys to, for example, Eric Trump's house in Westchester, New York. Nearly all of these 19 undocumented workers told us they've met Donald Trump. Sandra Diaz is from Costa Rica and worked as a housekeeper for four years at Trump National Golf Club in New Jersey. I work really close to him in his house. Uh, always I with, uh, always I with him, with Melania, with Ivanka. Uh, always I stay in, inside the house with, with all the family. They know me. I have a kids, I have to go in, I have to take care of all, clo all clothes, everything in this house, I have to care. Sandra told us she believes Donald Trump knew she was here illegally because he has to sign off on everything at the club. How do you feel when you hear the president say that people like yourselves shouldn't be in this country? I feel really bad. All of the workers paid taxes but were not given benefits. Victorina Morales also worked at Trump's golf club in New Jersey as a housekeeper. For five years, she made Trump's bed and dusted off his golf trophies. Did you ever tell the management at, at the golf course that you were undocumented or that you didn't have the right paperwork? Sí, claro. Le, she told us yes, she told her supervisors, but was told legal papers didn't matter as long as she did the work. What documents, uh, que papeles, did you show when you uh, applied for the job? Victorina says she didn't show any paperwork when she got the job, but in 2016 she was suddenly asked for legal documentation. She says when she told her manager she didn't have it, he got his cousin to take her to a house in New Jersey to get documents, and that her manager himself paid the $175 fee for her fake documents. There is another client I have in Westchester who uh, presented fake documents and he was told that they weren't, uh, they didn't look good enough. So they had him return three times to get fake documents that, that looked better. Did Donald Trump know where you were from and do you think that he knew you were undocumented? Victorina told me Trump once asked her where she was from and she told him Guatemala. She says the majority of housekeepers were undocumented and that Trump must have known. Margarita Cruz worked as a housekeeper at Trump's golf club in Westchester, New York, for nine years. What do you think when you hear Donald Trump talk about undocumented workers and how you shouldn't be allowed in this country, yet you worked at his golf club? 
Margarita says Trump is a hypocrite, that he says they are bad people, rapists and traffickers, but they are honest, hard-working people who worked hard for him. He's been uh, benefiting from undocumented labor for many, many years. It's sad that he's been lying to the American people. Randy joins us now. Has the Trump Organization had any response to, to what those uh, those workers told you? Anderson, we reached out to the Trump Organization several times asking for a response to the fact that um, these allegations and also the fact that the Trump Organization has been employing these undocumented workers for years. We didn't get a response, but the Trump Organization has responded to The New York Times, which has also done some reporting on this issue, telling The Times they have strict hiring practices and that if an employee submits false documentation to circumvent the law, they will be fired immediately. Now, that's certainly not what these workers told us happened in their case. And that statement to The New York Times, Anderson, certainly doesn't answer our question, which is, did Donald Trump know that these undocumented workers were working for him as he was publicly railing against them. Right. Uh, also, one other note, uh, most of the workers in our story, they're all facing deportation because, as you know, there is no plan for those 11 million plus illegal immigrants in this country. Only one of them now has legal permanent status. That's Sandra Diaz, but she didn't get it until long after she left Trump's golf club in New Jersey, right. Anderson.